Okay, so everybody's keeping up with me here. We've got five note cards down, one final one to go. So if you haven't already, take your note card, fold it hamburger style. Whoop, there it is. Now on the front, the last one we're gonna talk about are perpendicular lines. So on the front, put the big symbol. It's like an upside down capital T for perpendicular lines. And if you think back to your definitions you worked on last week, when you have perpendicular lines, what do you end up with? Hopefully, ding, 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 ding. You remember that you have right angles. So again, perpendicular lines imply that you have right angles. Always the case. And we just stated, if you have right angles, well then, what do we know? They're congruent. So on the inside, one final time, we're gonna draw that same picture. You should have it down your head. So we're gonna have A, B, C, and draw in segment B, D, and make it look like it should be perpendicular. So on this particular problem, we are going to be given that segment B, D is perpendicular to segment A, C. So again, if you need to, I'm gonna take a little highlighter here. Here's segment BD, here's segment AC. Notice that they make that T. They are perpendicular. So, one final mini proof. So the left side, we have our statements. On the right side, we have our reasons. Okay, so we're gonna start with our given information. So segment BD is perpendicular to segment AC. My reason, because it was given to me, is a given. So if you think back to the front, when you have perpendicular segments, you have right angles. So in this picture here, I have two right angles. My right angles are going to be angle ADB. That's an A if it looks messy. Angle ADB. That's an and symbol. And angle CDB. Again, our right angles. And my reason, based on the definition of perpendicular lines, if two segments are perpendicular, remember that's my symbol for perpendicular, then they intersect to form right angles. So again, instead of telling you, maybe you're trying to prove two triangles congruent by hypotenuse leg, instead of telling you that you have right angles in the picture, in my proofs that we'll eventually get to this week, I would maybe instead tell you that you have segments that are perpendicular so you can make the conclusion that you have right angles. So again, if two segments are perpendicular, then they intersect to form right angles. Okay, so hopefully at this point, you have all six of them filled out. Okay, so what we're gonna do next, is we're going to open our notebook. Okay, so the last thing that we wrote down was some of our vocabulary words. So I want the next two pages that are open. I'm just, whoop, apologize for that. Bear with me, a little technical difficulties here. So again, what we're going to do next, I'm trying to adjust my iPad so we can see a little bit um, easier. You can see the whole book. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So you can see both sides. Again, the last thing I have stuff written down over here, so I wanna flip it to these two open pages. So at the top of both pages, I want you to write down beyond basics conclusions. Same thing for the other side. Beyond basics conclusions. So to keep it so we're not crammed all into one spot, you're gonna pick three note cards to put on one side and you're gonna put three note cards on the other side. And you're gonna need some tape. So if you don't have tape, you might wanna pause the video for a moment. Share please or you can use glue sticks for that matter too. So what we're gonna do this, I'm going to put midpoint, the first three, segment by sector and angle by sector on one side. So the way I want you to do it, line it up so you can get all three. 
on the sides. Now, the way you tape them down, okay, you want to tape it so you can still flip it open. So I'm going to put tape, if I'm going to tape it down maybe the right side and the left side. That way I can still flip it open. Oh, hey, my problem is about midpoint. Let's flip it open. What do I know? Oh, hey, this is the reason I'm going to use. Okay, so again, you're going to attach three on the left side and three on the right side. You don't need a ton of tape. Just tape it so it doesn't go anywhere. So again, notice I've got midpoint. Now I've got segment bisector below it. The third one I'm gonna put down here, you can see is going to be angle bisector. So again, one piece of tape on the left, one on the right. Again, I don't need a ton of tape. I just need it to stay put. me if I angle it a little bit better. You can see here's my three. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. It doesn't matter in the order. I'm gonna put isosceles triangle at the top, right angles in the middle, and perpendicular segments at the bottom. So just like the left side, put a piece of tape on the left, put one on the right, well lost. If I know if it's about isosceles triangles, I can flip it open and look at the reasons. I can do this a little faster maybe than you because I have the tape dispenser in front of me. So again, I'm going to put right angle second here. So a piece of tape on the right. Piece of tape on the left. Last one. Perpendicular lines. So again, piece of tape on the right, piece of tape on the left. Okay, so when I'm done, I've got six total note cards. Okay, so what you're going to do today, okay, you're going to get a conclusion worksheet. It's just like what we were doing our note cards here. So for example, on the first one, notice you're given what happens here. Let's just talk about it. What's going on here? You are bisecting, what is that symbol? An angle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look under, oh, here's an angle bisector note card here. Now your picture is gonna look a little bit differently, but it's gonna go the same way. So you're gonna start with, and your proof, Ray BD bisects angle ABC. My reason is going to be given information. So you're gonna look at your picture. Here's BD, it's bisecting ABC. So which angles are gonna be congruent? You're gonna state that next. And your reason is gonna be here from your note card. If a ray bisects an angle, then it divides the angle into two congruent angles. So you have 10 of these. This one's bisecting angle. This one's isosceles triangle. So what am I going to look at for guidance? My note card here that says isosceles triangle. Okay, so if you don't finish this worksheet in class, this is for homework. And when I get to back tomorrow, we'll take any questions that you have. Have a great day.